Hey guys, this is Tad with Crusher Joe. Um, me and Deborah and I are just coming out this evening to try to get a little video, a little trip in and do a little video. Um, because we may have a little rain coming. So, we finally got a little cool enough for us to get out of here. So, y'all stay tuned. We'll see what we can catch. So guys, what I'm doing is I'm I'm just flipping today. I'm flipping with 316 pounds weight tungsten. I'm throwing a three yard hook with a uh, zoom speed craw June bug blue. But I'm using uh, craw crack today on it. And man, I seem to be starting to get a few bites on it. So I caught two, and I had several bites I missed. I guess I'm a little rusty and flipping. Just take a little bit, dude, just like that. A little bit, rub it on. Ooh -wee. Smell like crawfish. And you fool them bass, bro. You fool them, they think they're chasing a real claw when you put that on there. All right, guys, so y'all know we work with a lure company, a um, small lure company called Tanker Lures. So in the near future, we have some more baits coming out. Um, I'm not really going to say what it is, but it's going to be a surprise. And Deborah got a fish again. He's a baby. A baby. <laughs> but this is like my fifth one. Besides the red. 
red. enough about having I'm not just trying to tell y'all just to buy them all but you know it's like each scent has its own purpose you know if you're throwing a crawfish you know I mean you can put shad crag on it it'll help sometimes but if you're throwing crawfish you want to throw I would want to smell like a crawfish if I'm throwing a swim bait, I want my swim bait to smell like a shed. And that's why you pretty much got to have them all, you know. And sometimes, you know, bass crack is its own unique smell by itself. So, the three cents you probably would want to have in the boat. See, we throw and I'm throwing shad crack right now on my swim bait, and I'm using craw crack on this crawfish. And we're getting, I mean, we're not catching no huge fish right now, it's just you know, bad time of the year, middle of summertime. <clears throat> but we're getting bites and we're catching fish. That's like as soon as I put the, the craw crack on this craw, I throw it out there, I'm getting better. salt water I and mean, we have four cents we have uh, we have bass crack is our original then we have craw crack then shad crack and then we have one that's called salty crack which is it's mainly for I made it for salt water but um, the guys that fish smallmouth they like it a lot they say it works great on smallmouth the uh, salty cracks a mixture of shellfish and, and a Manhattan scent, a shad scent. So, and Put a little more of this crawl crack on it. Real simple. Look, take it. in the boat because let me tell you it will your fingers will get slippery when fishing with it if it gets all over your hands so some towels on the boat so you can wipe your hands off just put it on caught a fish
seen it. I just cracked him up. I just put crack crack on it. My second cast. There it was. Just push that crack on. Yeah, sit down there.
I just put crack on it again. Just, just put crack, crack, threw it out there, caught that one. Not bad. So all you do is take it, squeeze a little. All you gotta do is get a little bit out. See out on the end, just a little bit. That's all it takes, a little bit. And you just rub it on. I'm gonna show them how to do it on mine too. On a worm, you just take the worm, get a little bit out on the end, on a tip, just like that. So you get it on your hands. Make sure you got a towel. Oh, Look at that. Never had. As soon as she threw a line bait in the wall, she had a fish. I love fishing and flipping, man. It's one of my favorite ways to fish. I'm just now, as you see, I'm. It looks like I'm rusty, but. I, I I had three shoulder surgeries, so I'm still kind of learning how to do everything all over again. Use my shoulder, my arm. But I'm getting there. guys it's like 7 45 uh, p.m. sun going down quick so we're gonna head on in I hope y'all enjoyed this trip I mean even though we didn't catch any big fish but hey we still caught a few fish like I said I tug on in the line better than nothing so y'all stay tuned for our next trip hopefully we'll start catching some bigger fish remember guys if y'all watching our show watching this channel please like and subscribe it would really help us out a lot tremendously you know we get a lot a lot of people viewing we just don't have a lot of subscribers yet and that's the whole deal we're working on